Welcome to Soccer Gaming and welcome to this episode where we are going to do a debut of the Peralta 99 pitching card, the Freddy Peralta card that just came out a few weeks ago. We're going to go ahead and give it a shot in ranked play. So if you like to watch that, stick around. Gotta go Peralta here, right? Let's give, let's give him a chance. We gotta figure out if we like this card. And so they actually named the team after this guy. And so it's kind of like, well, they didn't name it because they named it because they, you know, they were proud of this guy. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's it's hard. Dolphins in the real world, and you know what I mean. Like I just feel like you open up that that thing to other ways of you know what i'm saying like you're just opening the door to people throwing a fit about everything i do think everyone has has a right to do what they feel is best for them and best for the people around them anyway I, i'm done being on tangent i'm done this peralta card is not bad there's a few things i feel like his um i feel like he's a little off when it comes to accuracy I also feel like we haven't seen anything crazy yet, but like the breaks on his balls just don't seem as snappy. Um, they seem very kind of flowy. They kind of just flow inside. I got strike out there, but they kind of just flow instead of snap. Not a huge fan of that. I think it's easier for the batter to know that you're throwing a breaking pitch. But we'll see. He likes to throw that curve down and out. So if we see a curve, don't even go after it. That one you can't, though, Acuna. Get out, ball. That's out, right? There's no way that's not out. Oh, my goodness. That was close. Headshot. Here we go. There he is, Acuna. First home run. We'll take it. We'll take it. See, like, his accuracy is a little off. There, there's no reason that sh ball should have been that far in. I'm okay with balls missing a little bit, but he, to accuracy wise, I feel like he is kind of really, really missing on on some of these, especially for like 96 accuracy. Throw a slider in, get him out. 93. See, like that is way off where I threw that. I don't know if they they messed with something. We'll take it. We'll take it. I'm just not. I'm a little weary of it. Is what like I just feel like he should be more accurate than that. What's his accuracy? We'll have to look here in a second. He has. I don't see the 98 break. We'll keep rolling with him. It's a good. It's a good card. I guess I just expected a little more accuracy out of a. Out of a this high of a card. Good night. How does mm, I'm confused a little bit, mostly because that that pitch right there was 45 accuracy, and it was almost exactly where I threw it. And now some of his are really off. We'll take it though. Take the strikeout. He's got the K's. He's got the K's for sure. There he is. Peralta de definitely has that put away stuff. Definitely has that put away stuff. He's looking for that high fastball. We just gotta stay away from this. He was early on that. I quit. If that was early. That's not as early. Great. Love to see it. Talking about like the next big collection, like uh, like it was like Acuna, that type of thing would be my guess. Peralta, those little dribblers, love to see it. Let's go. Let's get out of there. Man. Get out, ball. Get out of here. The Schwab. Headshot. Dang, that, that card is mm, 
double up. Mm -mm, you know what I'm saying? That card is just fine wine. I wouldn't mind seeing Griffey. Peralta wouldn't mind seeing that high fastball. Like, jeez, man. I'm pitching backwards to this guy right now, and it's working. Straight up pitching backwards to this guy. He thinks a high fastball's coming. It's not. Still not coming. That slider in's gross from Peralta. I'll give him that. That's, that inside one's nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Do, is, is Peralta's debut done? Through six? Nah, we'll keep him. We'll keep him. We'll run with him here. Oh, he got hit. Sheesh, we'll take that. Let's go. There it is. That's a rip snort and a half. Good night, Trouty Bomb. Headshot. That's why he's a goat. <laughs> Gotta learn. Gotta learn from the L's. Honestly, so as much as off to topic as this is. All right, we gotta be careful of Peralta here. I don't know if we go the full nine innings. We'll see here. We'll see here. We'll, we'll play matchups a little bit here. We'll wait and see what. Um, we'll, we'll play matchups here. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Because he has not really been able to figure out Peralta here. The only his only two runs were two home runs, two solo shots that were uh, high fastballs. So we know not really throw high fastballs. He he does not do well against curves and sliders. Um, so probably a ton of those. That would be my my card I'm struggling with the most right now. I'm gonna go high fast. We cannot miss here though. If we miss, he's gonna send this shot. Ooh, let's go, Freddy. Freddy's got himself some gas. Is really what it comes down to. Cannot miss. That slider down and in is nasty. Um but I'm starting to think he might be, yeah, he's dropping his PCI pretty low. So we gotta kinda be careful and we don't float something here that he can get his PCI under. Cause that would ruin our day. All right, let's get out of, there we go. All right, one more inning. Um, I don't know if we, I think we stay, I think we stick with Peralta. I, he hasn't been able to hit him. We got a four run lead. If he gets up a home run or something, maybe we go somewhere else. But I think Peralta will finish this out for us. Yeah, Jose Ramirez though, just like like I said, like I feel like he's been struggling for me lately. And you look at this game, and he's two for three, and now he's uh, three for four with a home run. And it's like, well, you can't take him out of the game. He's good. Headshot. <clears throat> I feel like I do that with all my players though. I feel like I feel like they can't do anything, and then all of a sudden they're goaded, and he quit. And I guess we don't have to pitch, but yeah. Freddy Peralta, not bad, not bad. I'm happy with it. I feel like, or I feel like early on, um, pretty much the whole game, I feel like he really struggled with the accuracy. To be honest with you, I feel like his accuracy was was not bad, but different. Like I was getting really confusing. Um, I was just really confused of of what pitches, because I got a couple of like a hundred accuracies that. I was throwing high and inside and it dropped down and out of the zone and I, I don't understand how you can hit 100 accuracy there and and miss that badly and then I threw a high uh, four seam fastball high and inside 45 accuracy and like 60 some accuracy on the way down and boom pinpoint right where right where I wanted to throw it so I don't know if I understand the accuracy there with Peralta but ultimately, like not not bad, not bad. He was he was pretty good in that game. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely definitely a card that's gonna stay in the in the starting rotation for a while. Again, I do worry about the accuracy. I feel like the the four seam was fast. It was good. The sinker didn't bite as much as I thought it would. I didn't get a ton of swing and misses. The slider is nasty. The slider dropped out of the sky. The curve 
was was good the change up is a little quick for me i know that i know that the the change kind of has to be somewhat different than a four seam in the 96 and 88 to eight apart usually went eight to ten um on the um for uh, the the fastball and the change up differential so you get that there with the eight i just don't feel like the change up did much um as far as actually changing up could have been also because his fastball is just so good that he doesn't really need the change up um to be able to do anything but yeah i mean honestly it's just i i thought it i thought it, i thought it was a good card um pitching control the four seam the slider so i guess the sinker is kind of one of his lower ones because i missed a lot with the sinker makes sense now looking at his uh pitch control it's at 75 slider is nasty the slider is like the good put away pitch there the the curve never floated up which was good so it it, it dropped down I was good and then the four seam was yeah I, I would say it was just probably his best pitch however I kind of had to be careful with the high uh fastball because even as he threw 96 98 people can hit that so you got to be really careful on that four seam fastball and then pitch break again the slider is gross the curveball dropped out of the sky sinker doesn't move much again you see it here with the pitch break so the sinker even though he has it on here isn't really the the sinker that you're accustomed to when you're when you're running some guys out there and you're like oh i can just throw sinkers all game and i'll be fine um Peralta's not really a card you can do that with so ultimately yeah i mean the card's good i liked it very first time out pitched pretty well with it got the eight innings he quit in the ninth inning so didn't get the full game but 2.25 era 0.63 whips 14 strikeouts most of them on the slider or the curveball a few of them on a on a high four seam fastball that they couldn't catch up with but ultimately pr pretty good uh both uh, both earned runs were to home runs good enough to put them away however you got to be careful with it the sinker's not the sinker you're really normally used to um the slider is the, the the pitch the slider is the put away pitch that's the pitch you can really do stuff with you can dot with you can do anything with it so yeah not a bad card i like it Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit the red subscribe button and comment down below. Let me know any other players that you would like to see some debuts with. Till next time, Slacker out.